Welcome to Midday Prayer for today the Feast of Our Lord's Ascension. On this important date in the Christian calendar, we remember the day when our Lord, having completed his earthly ministry, returned to the Father, paving the way for the birth of the Church at Pentecost. Our prayers are taken from common worship, prayer during the day. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. A hymn of praise to God, the creator of heaven and earth. Blessed are you, the God of our ancestors, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you in your holy and glorious temple, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you who look into the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you enthroned on the cherubim, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. We say Psalm 47. Clap your hands together, all you peoples, O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, he is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us, and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations, God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belong to God, and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Jesus had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up towards heaven, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our prayers. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And as we remember the day of our Lord's most glorious ascension, let us call to mind the mission that we have been given to bring the gospel to all nations and to strive for the welfare of those less fortunate than ourselves. Almighty God, we confess that we have our eyes set in the clouds instead of on the earth. We desire heavenly treasure, but we keep believing that worldly means will help us attain it. Forgive us for our short-sightedness. Draw us away from the temptations to seek worldly power and measures of success, and call us to the down-to-earth message of your love, to care for the needs of those around us especially the oppressed and marginalised. You have called us through scripture to care for the widows and orphans among us. Help us to see all those who are left out by society and are in need. Help us to break down the dividing walls that we have placed, so that we may truly be one, as you and Christ are one. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Finally, we say the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so may God kindle in us the fire of love. Amen.